it's Nick Baldwin, Regional Technology Trainer for the Michigan and Northern Ohio region of Keller Williams. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a full-on blog from HomeKeeper to your KW site as well as all of your HomeKeeper trusted vendors. So in this video, HomeKeeper blog, HomeKeeper trusted vendors, all of them are going to be added to your KW site in like three seconds. Stay tuned, let's get into it and see how it's done. Okay everyone, here we are, we're inside a command and we're in the consumer feature, this consumer applet, that's where you wanna go to create this page that you're gonna put your HomeKeeper blog and HomeKeeper vendors on for your website. So we're gonna create a new site, we're gonna choose on my agent site and create that page. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to widgets and click on content blocks. We're going to want to bring in uh, the text box and drop that right there. Then we're going to want to go into our HomeKeeper account. And in the widgets portion, you're going to see two widgets, my blog widget and my trusted pros widget. Let's use this one, my blog widget, JavaScript, copy that code. Head back on over to command where you're creating your page and we're going to delete this insert your text um, placeholder and paste that HTML. Okay, then we need to have a widget or else this won't post all by itself. So we have to have a widget. So the best widget here would probably be a contact form. So let's bring that contact form over and drop that here. And then what we're going to do is we have to configure those widgets, make sure our contact form is exactly how we want it. We're going to save and apply that. And then we are going to save changes. Actually, uh, first I want to name it. we got to give it a name. So let's just call it blog. Okay. And then we're going to save changes. Yes. Perfect. All right. Now let's create the vendor page. So create a new site again. We're going to do that on my agent site and create the page. And again, go to content blocks, bring over the text block and drop it. Go back to HomeKeeper, click on my trusted pros widget, and let's use this one, my trusted pros search widget JavaScript. And go back over here. Again, just paste it after copying it and then we're going to want to have another call to action maybe in this instance we'll do um the download my app uh, widget all right and perfect now we want to name this so we'll call this vendor so we can identify it later configure the widgets make sure this says everything we wanted to say save changes yes okay great so now what we want to do is we want to go to site and app settings because we need to activate these pages. Site and app settings, go to site pages, and then we need to add those two pages we just created. So click add pages. And we can see them here, blog. Let's do blog first. Continue. And we'll just call this our blog. And if you want to put some SEO descriptions in here, definitely knock yourself out. Let's save that. All right. And now we want to add the vendors page. Continue. Let's call this our trusted vendors. We can call this trusted vendors. And again, with uh, SEO, just kind of put whatever you want to put in there so people can find you uh, much more easily on the Google. Let's save that. Okay, those pages now should be active. We're going to go to my website. And once this loads up, from the drop-down menu up here on the upper right, you'll see Our Blog and Trusted Vendor. So I'm going to click Our Blog. And there we go, guys. My uh, HomeKeeper blog is now on my website. This updates pretty regularly. We can see October 12th, 8th, 5th, so every few days, the HomeKeeper blog updates. And 
you know, when we open it up, takes us to our homekeeper website where everything is. Wow, that's a Nick Baldwin without a beard. I have to update that. It brings us to our blogs. So these are great to throw into, um, you know, email newsletters that you can create through designs. Uh, also, let's take a look at the trusted vendors page. So these are all the vendors that if you've been using Homekeeper, you know, you've got a nice collection. So, uh, you know, uh, contractors, when you click on that, your, your trusted contactor, contractors show up. Um, if we, you know, click on, whoops, I went back to the blog. If we click on, you know, let's just see um, roof inspectors, you know, here we go. You got all that stuff there. So this is great, um, you know, if you want to add more, more customizable content to your website. So um, hope that uh, hope that was beneficial for you. A lot of KW agents have Homekeeper uh, accounts. And if you do, follow these simple steps and your website will be much more customized to you and offer a lot more value um, to your consumers. See you next time, guys.